So when you decide to wake up one day and Drake is no more serviceable to you and Rick Ross's situation where, fuck it, we already made the music, we already made the money, now I can say however I really truly felt about the nigga or I could just say the truth it's and just true. say this is what it is. I don't think now that's true. let me get that off. But when it served him, I don't think that's true. That white boy is what he needed at times. I don't think that's true. That white boy is what a lot of niggas needed at certain Rick, times, i.e. low baby. Rick Ross, a had, lot of Rick Ross had his before Drake. I'm not saying he didn't, but you can't but, act but, like he didn't enhance the of nigga. Of course he you did. You can't act like he but, didn't but, extend his but run, of course extend he did. his time and his Salute. game, and his relevancy. Salute. So again, he helped. when you when you decided but to do all this shit. But he had hit records shit. before him. If he never had a hit record before the nigga, like if the nigga was just didn't know how to fucking make a hit, I could see what you're saying. The nigga can make a hit. Did Drake, When's the last hit Drake he had enhance Drake? it? Huh? When's the last hit? Nigga, let's hit. look it up. Nigga, hit. What's the shit? I just want to be had. the one. I just want to be the one you love. What? <laughs> What year was that? I'm just saying shit. What fucking year was that? Nigga, I don't know, nigga. You I'm didn't have a beard. Up, the fuck, nigga? I had a beard, nigga. You didn't even have shit a beard when that shit dropped. Shit wasn't as broad, but I had a beard, nigga. The fuck? <sighs> like, what do you mean, bro? So that's what I'm trying to say about the whole Drake mm. point. What's like, this whole Drake when, point? When let's, we, go to, let's, let's stay here with Rick Ross for a second. And it sounded like you was about to say Meek, right? No, I wasn't. Okay, well, I'm about to say Meek. All of them. <laughs> All of cool. them. Cool. Whoever you want to We mention. saw Meek go at Drake, and Ross kept it P. If if there was any opportunity in time where Rick Ross wanted to be like, you know what, dog? Nah, nigga, don't listen to them niggas. Them yo, niggas, yo, 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 they, yo, they, yo, they ain't on yo, the call. Yo, 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 don't yo, look at them. Yo, the look camera, at me. Nigga, I'm looking at the camera. I know nigga. them niggas can't save you. They gonna holler at you later. <laughs> right. Cool. Let's deal with him. Let's do it. That was the perfect opportunity for Rick Ross to get something off his chest. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't for. You're bugging. Why the fuck? He's the nigga was his artist, and he didn't say anything. If anything, he went on an interview and was like, "Nah, you know that's just little homies. Uh -uh. They just getting into like something." He stayed out of it. He stayed out of it, bro. So there's been a time where there was an opportunity for him to shoot, and he didn't. Ross is a businessman. So what? How does that Wait, change so what now? Is that? Bro, bro. Yeah. What the fuck is like, he talking? He's a bigger businessman yeah, now. Yeah, because we already got 15 years. It's nothing more that we can do that we haven't already done. I no longer need you, Drake. Oh my god! I no bro. longer need you, and you already did enough sucker shit for me to be like, I right, fuck you, nigga. It's over. Anytime, any. It's done. If you need a hit, if you want a hit, right? You would say that a lot of them would hit Drake, right? Yeah. It don't matter how much money you want, how much you're looking for, how mm -hmm. much you've done it. If you are looking for a hit, the mm -hmm. internet is insinuating that they had to hit Drake, right? So why would you just so easily dissolve that relationship if you were a good businessman? It served me already. That's not enough for a it good served, businessman. It served me already. As a good already. businessman, that's not yeah, enough. That's not tangible. Dude, that's brought, not tangible for a businessman, nah, Savon. Yo, Rick Ross is not in the business of music, my nigga. Um, Rick Rick none of them are in the business of music. Um, okay, how deep do you want to get? He just dropped the album like... A few months ago. <laughs> None of them are in the business of music. How deep you want to get? That's not saying anything. They're all just businessmen. The businessmen first. Music is not the primary thing they making in my nigga. Streaming ain't making a bunch of money. So you just answered your own question. What do you mean? Why does he sever ties with Drake today? Well, we heard it. Because he What did no, you hear? He no longer needs no, Drake. No, 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 no. He said it on the diss track. What did you hear? Did you what, listen what to What did he say on the diss track? Uh, he, he said French. Sent the, he said Drake. He sent a cease and desist. To he said Drake sent a cease and desist to French Montana. Mm -hmm. Granted, let me let let's 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 rewind a little bit. Mm -hmm. I do these weekly music lists, y'all may know already. Mm -hmm. And Fresh Montana recently dropped the album. I want to say a few months ago. I'm not even going. I can't pinpoint when it was. I remember the marketing that week was, yo, Drake is supposed to be featured on the French Montana project mm -hmm. or with a song with Lil Wayne, Rick Ross. I got the song. It's you tough. do have the song. It's you you have when he was on it, right? Uh, yeah. I want you to play it in a second. All right. Cool. It was in February 23rd, he dropped. February 23rd, he dropped. Thank you so much, Pierre. You are amazing. <laughs> cool. When the album comes out, there's no Drake verse. Mm -hmm. Me and Steph, it's funny. All the niggas I need to, that needed today is here. That's why they're here. Me and Steph listen to uh, Splash Brothers, which is the, 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 um, the version that's out now that doesn't have Drake. And we're listening to it like, in hindsight, like, oh my God, French Montana and Rosé were shooting at this nigga. With Lil Wayne on the song. So, nigga, them niggas been beefing. Why, why if you sent a cease and desist to French Montana and French is my man too, I wouldn't be titled for that. Why, why, why isn't that a good reason Going for Going back to, be to what it is that you said, bro. Like, yeah. You're talking about all of these artists from yesteryear. See, I don't like that you do that. It's bro. the truth. It may, but it has, because it has no if validity. We, if, we look at, <laughs> if we look at Drake and how he moves... Drake, whenever he wants to put on or whenever he wants to create a new hit or whatever, he doesn't pull back. He doesn't reach back. Okay. He reached with what's current and what's coming. 
And if what's coming doesn't hit, fuck it. I'm going to find something that hits that's current. Drake Save doesn't on. go backwards. Save the on. only features, the only people, Save if on. you, bro, listen to me. If you go on Drake's <laughs> discography, all of his features are artists who are currently popping or are going to be popping, who he believes to be popping. He, when's the last time French Montana been on a Drake album? When's the last time Rick Ross been on a Drake album? When the last time any of those people, he he don't even put Lil Wayne on his shit like if that, bro. Drake, only... Drake does not go back. Drake's business model is what Hove was doing for years, which is I'm going to catch the wave and I'm going to be the wave. So when you keep telling me that what? Drake needs these, none of these, so he doesn't need he any get, of them. So let's entertain. He doesn't use so let's any of them in that, that is, way let's for his hits. Let's entertain your point. Okay. <laughs> If that was the case, why didn't he just do one song with Rick Ross and never go back? What do you mean? He doesn't... Yes, he likes to pull from the youth, mm -hmm. but he also pulls with people that he's close with. So hold on. Rick Ross, again, we don't know all the full details at this time, mm -hmm. and I'm sure they'll be revealed. Mm -hmm. He probably thought at the time, yo, we all fuck with each other. No shopping. Hold on, let me finish this. I know what you're finna say. I know what you're finna say. No shopping. That was French Montana and Drake. Oh, how And they was doing all that joking and, and Kiki key, Keen key in the beginning of that video. I just remember how close they looked, right? Mm -hmm. Why can't a Rick Ross go, man, like, you know, we're from the elk of the, the not the older generation, right? But the one that's definitely before the one that's current. Mm -hmm. Why can't he go, yo, you're like, we've always been cool. Why the hell did he send a cease and desist when we all been cool like that? No, I don't, I don't have those answers. Right. So I can't speak to that. I got you. But what I can speak to is Drake doesn't look at Rick Ross, at Rick Ross for hits. So what does he, he look does. at him for? For credibility. Okay. And, if, and that's if, what Rick Ross said. If if you came around because you needed to be credible, you needed somebody to stand next to who gave you that edge, who gave you those street anthems, who somebody who is actually about that life, or or at least perceived to be about that life. Because again, and I've met Rick, Rick Ross. Like he's a great guy. He's a fucking gentleman. And he's also somebody, if he walked in the room, I would give him the respect that I think he deserves. But that doesn't mean that I believe everything that he says in his rhymes. You get what I'm saying? But I do so believe- So why do you believe Drake so much? I don't. Well, we could say that for everyone. That's I, what I'm saying. No, but that's- Yeah. I, what I'm saying is yeah. there was an exchange. Whenever Rick Ross and Drake got together, there was, it's clearly an exchange. It's, n it's never been more obvious that it's been an exchange. When you hear them talk about each other, it says, yo, oh, this my God, this my man, this my God. So when you go from this my man to like, fuck you white boy like this, that tells me it was just a transaction. It was transactional. But you're not addressing the point what of, point? I know you can't speak to it because we don't know. The, I want you to- The cease and desist? Yes. Bro. I don't know. I have no idea. No, but- see, I don't know. You can't stay there, bro, because fuck the cease and desist. We're all friends. We're all cool. We not friends. Okay, cool. Yo, we're can all I play a clip? cool. Just can hear, I play a clip? Yes, for you? you can play the clip. You're you're literally you're you're can purposely deviating for what I'm saying. But no, I'm gonna keep coming to you. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna just play a clip and then play you tell me. Yes, yeah, I'm please play, play a clip, bro. It it makes no yo, sense. Don't smoke me, nigga. It's your birthday. <laughs> yeah, nah, niggas about to raise my it blood was pressure. Separating your real life and the this. Fuck? I'm very proud of my real life and the character judgment that I've used throughout mm -hmm. the years mm -hmm. that I've spent on this earth. Nobody that I've ever considered a true friend has switched up. But these fly by night people that you come across, Ooh, what, they're all this? they're all not to be trusted. They're all I don't trust none of them. So if they were not, I'm not to be naive, trusted, why I'm not you out here being like, hey, we're all it's all it's not buddy buddy, man. This is war, man. Just okay. like anything else. It's like sports, war, just like man. whatever yeah. it is. If you're in accounting, you, that I treat we're playing for keeps, bro. It's not a joke. Oh to my god, me, he sounds you know? so, so fucking Yeah, I've seen Canadian. people I would never expect people I've had the utmost respect for do foul if they could have their way i'd be on the street corner with me and all these guys in this room and my family we never to be heard from again if they had their way but like i said i'm ready for whatever does that only apply to drake i think that applies <laughs> for the field and like he said everybody when it comes to this real like he, he separated that was the first so and himself, only time i ever included, heard him say himself included right real life and music shit music industry shit he said he's proud of my real life like, when you get on these cameras or when you go out into the world, people are like, oh, shit, like, Alex, you're doing your thing. But then in real life, these are your niggas right here, okay. right? He's, he's proud of what he built with his real niggas. Understood. The industry shit is different. The Rick Ross shit, these relationships, the weekend, whoever he's referring to, everybody knows. And we all know because we in this shit too. We got like okay. real life friends and then we got niggas it. who, I right, this but just makes hit sense. Me out, hit me out. So here we are. Here we are, right? It, but what it sounds like, it's like we're we're not trying to take accountability for Drake's side that he might have played in this as well. 
I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but this is how it's sounding. Okay. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying like, okay, we get it. Niggas switch up all the time. Like, uh, niggas, I get it. It happens to every single person, not just artists, right? It's another side of that. If you told me Rick Ross is a good businessman and if it was for the business, you wouldn't sever this tie over... What was it? What was it you just saying? I don't know. Like, we're done be but being transactional yeah, now. Yeah, 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 like, I got yeah, yeah. what I needed from you and now I'm out. But if it's business, if it's still business, there's no reason to continue to do that. What I'm saying is, I know we might not know specifically what it is, but even though he said it on there, mm -hmm. I'm sure he had conversations with French. Like, we don't have to just stop, oh yeah, I don't know what happened. No, no, no. We need to go further within that because that's probably where the truth lies. But And I fuck with Drake. Niggas making me sound like I don't, bro. Like, it's just, you... You don't risk that if Drake does. If you're Rick Ross, like you're saying, but like something bad must have it happened. Was, yes, okay. if you're Rick Ross, you don't risk wait, that. Wait, so wait, are you? So uh, Alex is saying, like, no, there's something crazy that happened. Probably that Rick Ross is like, yo, I'm done mm -hmm. with Drake, and then Savon, are you're saying, like, no, actually, it's just like they're just they're just done with each other. That's like he's just, tired of him. If there was anything to risk, right, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have happened that way. Drake, all, Drake, the cease and desist, right? It was already sent. Which means Drake already took his stance. Rick Ross had nothing to lose by saying what he said. Because it was already out into the world. But that wasn't Rick Ross's song. It was French Montana's song. All right, but regardless, when you put Drake it. next to Rick Ross and, and next to French, we know what that means. We know what that looks like. And so does no, Rick we Ross. Don't. You just told me them niggas is old and he looked for the new niggas. No, we don't. The nigga was a feature on a French Montana album. Mm -hmm. He probably took personally that he fucks with French Montana mm -hmm. and heard it's supposed to be French, Lil Wayne, and Drake. And then before it comes out, French hit niggas like, yo, it's just us on the song. I'm sure Rick Ross is like, what the, well, fuck? What, what the fuck happened, nigga? What, what happened to boy? So like, like, at that point about? when he thinks what happened to boy and Drake had, it's already done because he sent the cease and desist. Okay, now who is the bad guy if that was the way it was going? There is no bad guy. It's business. Oh, Get out caping. your feelings, nigga. Oh, we caping. You're mad because you need me on this song. We, we caping heard. That's just what it is. If French Montana dropped the diss track, I could, would completely see where you coming from. This is coming from a nigga that was just featured on the song. So it sounded like, yo, this is my homie. We always do shit together. This nigga acting weird all of a sudden. I don't I, know. Boy over here don't want to say nothing, but I'm going to say something. That's what it sounds like. I, 